Hey you guys, welcome back to Be With The Tea. Now, before I get into this tea, I wanna remind you guys that I'm doing a $100 Easter giveaway. And in order to qualify for this giveaway, you must be a subscriber. So click the subscribe button below, comment on videos, like videos, and leave your cash app in the comments. That's all you have to do, you guys. Now, good luck to everyone, and let's get into this tea. Okay, you guys, so Tasha K exposed Derek Jax yesterday now if you don't know who Derek Jax is he is the love guru okay he gives this great relationship advice to women kind of like a younger version of Steve Harvey and really empowers women to not put up with any BS from men at all and he's kind of painting himself as the perfect guy so he's basically the perfect guy and he gives the perfect advice but it looks like mr perfect is not so perfect at all so he is married if you guys did not know he has been married for a few years and he has a child by his wife okay now he never posts his wife on his instagram or any of his social media accounts I mean, he actually posted her twice within the last few months, but prior to that, you will not see pictures of her or his child. Now he said this was because of privacy. He didn't want them in the spotlight and so on and so on. But it's looking like the reason he was not posting them is because he wanted to do what he wanted to do, which is play around with other women. Now yesterday, Tasha K came out and said that a young lady had contacted her because she wanted to basically expose Derek for not being the guy he presents himself to be. So the story that the young lady basically told was she had been knowing Derek for many years, she said for about a decade, and they would talk, they would stay in touch, but he never crossed the line, never disrespected her in any way. So one day while they were talking, he basically told her that him and his wife were done, they were over, they were no longer together. So he was a single man, so he pursued her. So on the 4th of July, you guys, he flew her out to Miami. Now, just to be clear, she lives in Orlando and he lives in Atlanta. So he flew her out to Miami for the 4th of July along with her friends. And so him and her friends and his friends, they all partied it up on a yacht, okay? And she said that she was intimate with this man that same weekend. Like she said the whole weekend, they were intimate. So she said, for his birthday weekend, he also flew her out to Atlanta. Again, this is where he lives. He lives in Atlanta. So she flew out to Atlanta for his birthday weekend. And she said that again, it was his friends, her friends. They partied the whole weekend and she spent the whole weekend at his house. She said they were all there. Again, his friends, her friends. So it was just like a fun field weekend. And again, they were intimate that whole weekend. Now, she did question him again about the wife because she wanted to be sure because she said that he was kind of acting funny when they were all out in public. She said that he was kind of in the corner and that just did not sit right with her. So she asked him again about the wife he said that the wife and him were done and the wife was moving to Colorado with the kids. So basically like she's getting her stuff and she's leaving. Now she said that while she was in his house because she did stay at his house this entire weekend, she said she did see some things of the wife that were in the house but she saw a lot of packing boxes so she was basically under the impression like okay she's moving she's clearly getting her stuff out and she's gone so towards the end of july he ended up telling her that they would have to text on snapchat because his wife was coming down for the weekend with the kids and she was staying with him now she said she was really taken back by what he said because she just had an impression of him that you know he was just this again perfect guy and she felt like him moving the way he was moving was really sloppy especially coming from the love guru the perfect guy so she felt like you know how could he be so sloppy if he's really done with her why would he have her staying at his house he should know better he should know this is not okay because again he gives perfect advice so when all of this occurred she was like wait a minute hold on so she questioned this man yet again and he told her like look i am emotionally done with my wife 
I've heard her, she's heard me, and he even admitted to cheating on his wife before, and he told the girl that the wife never found out, but he said it was just too much hurt, it was too much damage, and he was done. Then all of a sudden, like the next day, you guys, this man blocked her and her friend from all his social media accounts, his Snapchat, his Instagram, everything. Her and her friend were blocked. And then all of a sudden, he puts up this post right here with the caption, how would you like it if both our names had Jackson on the end? Now, she said after that, she never, ever heard from him again. No phone call, nothing. Now, she does say that it was a possibility that him and the wife were going through a hard time and they decided to rekindle what they had. Now, she said it was just the fact that she did not expect this type of behavior from him because of who he is. And there was even a video he put up when he was giving a woman advice. She was asking him if she should date because she had been separated from her husband for three years. He told that woman no, that it was not okay for her to date because she was still married and it was kind of like she was in a situationship. So she felt like he was such a hypocrite to handle the situation the way that he did. Now again, she doesn't know if they were separated or not, but she's just assuming that they were because of the way he went about it. So for all she knows, the wife could have just been on vacation for this time. Maybe she had family in Colorado or something along that line and he decided to play. Now, ever since this incident, Derek has limited, well, blocked his comments on Instagram. And he did put up a video a few hours ago saying that he's coming from, you know, his dad's funeral. So I guess his dad passed away and he wanted to basically talk about and promote this book that he came out with called healed together now i believe he's gonna go live i'm not sure but on his youtube it looks like he's gonna do like a live promotion for this book and it looks like it's featuring him and his wife so maybe he's gonna try to use this opportunity to tell his side of the story so who knows but also just to let you guys know there is another woman who has came out and that is getting ready to tell her story about how Derek was messing with her also while he was married to his wife so it's not looking too good for mr Derek jackson okay i mean this could really ruin his image this can ruin his brand because he cannot have this because he promotes healthy relationships so this can be very damaging to the person that he created himself to be looks like it wasn't really him but i want to know what you guys have to say about all of this while this is still developing now if anything else comes out you guys i will surely keep you guys updated but i want you guys to leave your comments below do not forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys later